action. So working from the, a similar type position, if you have a tough resisting opponent, um, you have to always keep in mind that you have the deadly force options on your belt as well. So if we're here and we're trying to look for um, that similar handcuffing position and my gun being on my dominant side, on my right side, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep my hand below his arm. I'm gonna slowly work this arm up so that if he reaches for my gun, it's really hard for him to uh, get anywhere close to reaching that deadly force. What I'm gonna do is, uh, Lennon, put some resistance with your hand. When I feel the resistance, I keep my hand on the floor. And then when he uh, releases and lets go, then I take a couple more inches from him. Then he um, pushes down again, I take a couple more inches from him. He pushes down again, I take a couple more inches from him. Until I've worked his arm all the way across. Okay, then I could grab, I could go into the same procedure that we talked about before, where I'm here, boom, 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 and get both of his arms behind.